Hey guys, welcome to another Yakfish TV production. I'm Robert Field. On this episode of Exploring Florida's Gulf Coast, I'm going to be fishing for sharks. <laughs> There we go, there we go, fish on. I smell that. There we go! Ah. Nice fish. Oh. Woo! I'm gonna launch straight out from our base camp, go out past the lines we've set up for the land-based fishing, anchor down, and see if we can't get in some big fish. Let's go do it. So while I'm paddling out to my spot, I might as well be trolling a lure, see if I can't catch some fresh bait. Uh, I've got cut bait that we cast netted last night. I got a couple of rays that we gigged, but um, if I can catch something fresh, that'll be way better. So I'm gonna troll this little rattle trap while I paddle out to where I'm gonna anchor down. See if we can't get some. Another little Spanish. This little uh, Spanish mackerel hit that rattle trap. This will make great bait, and they're also really fun to fight on light tackle. Uh, you can tell pelagic species, they always have that kind of forked tail. This thing is like a torpedo. It's a lot like kingfish, king mackerel. They get a lot bigger. Let's cast back out and see if we can't get some more. There's another one. These will make great bait. Now that's the efficient way to do it. Just troll for bait while you're going out to your spot. You're not wasting any time, kind of double tasking. Get him on ice, keep him fresh. See if this mackerel can catch us something. So as you can see, even though the wind's pushing me this way, the current's taking my bait that way. And so with my anchor trolley, I can put the drift sock up front, and then I'll be dragging backwards, and I can keep an eye on my bait right in front of me. Should be a pretty good setup. Fish on. No! Oh, he's still there. Woo! 
Woo! He knows it now. Fish, oh! Feels like a nice one. He's fast at least. Ah. Oh, a lot of head shakes. It's definitely a shark. I don't think it's huge though. Oh! Woo! Oh! He keeps making these bursts. Oh, I'm already at my leader. He can't be too big. I say that. I think he's wearing out now. Can't tell what it is. Looks like maybe a black tip. Let's see if we can see him. Yeah, black tip. Light the camera. <laughs> he's camera shy. He's not huge or anything, but he's decent. About a five foot black tip. Get this guy up so I can release him. Ow. I don't think he likes me. Oh man, his tail got me right in the forearm. That hurt. It's the thing about sharks, right when they're acting like they're done, like they're gonna give up, they do that. That is why you always wanna loosen your drag when you've got a big fish, especially a shark, next to the boat. If they freak out like that, you want them to just rip line off your reel. What you don't wanna do is have them have leverage and pull you over on the side. For a five footer, this guy's pretty strong. All right, let's try this again. You done, buddy? I'll loosen my drag a little bit once I grab the leader. There we go. Buddy, I'm trying to help you out. I'm on your side now. Getting the hooks out of these fish is just not easy. And there he goes. I'll tell you what, the only reason that was possible right there is because I pinched down the barbs on these circle hooks. I learned the hard way the first time I went shark fishing that if you don't pinch down the barbs, you're never gonna get the hook out in a kayak. It is just extremely difficult. Their skin is like thick leather and the barbs on these hooks, just you can't get them out. Anyways, as you can see, that worked not too bad. I mean, it's still difficult and it's pretty hairy. Uh, these pliers really aren't even long enough, but um, it is doable. So when you go shark fishing in a kayak, definitely pinch down your barbs. And that way we don't have to leave anything behind in these fish. Woo! That was fun. Let's see if, uh, let's go anchor down somewhere and see if we can't get into some bigger fish. Oh yeah.
I'm gonna anchor down right here, let a couple lines out, see if I get any runs. Let's give it a shot. So to start, I'm gonna set my drag really loose so that when the shark picks up that bait, it doesn't feel much resistance and it'll start chomping down on it. Then I'll tighten the drag, just put steady pressure, and that circle hook should find the corner of its mouth. And now we wait, see what happens. Something's messing with my bait pretty much the second it hits the water, but it's not taking it. Uh, it just kind of, you know, moves it a little bit. It took a little bit of line out, but then dropped it. I'm thinking maybe it's a small shark that can't get the whole bait in his mouth. Oh. There we go. There we go. Fish on. There we go. There we go. Oh, it's not a big one, but I think it's a spinner because it's it's jumping. It's coming right here to the boat. It's making me nervous right here at the boat when it's still got this much energy. If it jumps into my lap, I'm gonna be upset. Not a very big one. That's probably what's been messing with my bait. Oh. Wow. Spit the hook. I didn't get a very good hook set. It was such a small fish. I lost it. Well, at least I put on a show at first. I think it was going nuts. Just rebate. Get something bigger. Feels a pretty good size. I'm gonna go for a ride. Here we go. Fish on, fish on, going for a ride. Woo! Feels pretty big and it's it's pulling me pretty fast. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Right now he's towing me and he's pulling drag. Basically heading straight out to sea. Yeah, this is a decent sized fish. Try to get a little line back. It took out a lot of line in the beginning. Oh, nope. Nope, it's still pulling drag. I want to get this bait off the line. It moved up a long way. Oh, he's making another run. Ah. Gaining some distance on him now. All right, it's been about 15 minutes. He's still towing me against the current. And every once in a while he makes a run and peels out line. This has gotta be a decent fish. I mean, at least six feet. I have no idea what species it is. I haven't seen him. I haven't gotten that close to him. Oh, oh. There he goes again. Peeling out line. Woo! Can't wait to find out what it is. He's towed me a good half mile from where I started already. He's not slowing down at all. All right, I've got eyes on it. Looks like maybe a bull or a black tip. A strong fish. Ah. 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 Oh my god. Ah. Ah. It's got 
won't give up. I want to get you up here, buddy, so I can release you. Come on. Uh, uh, another thing you always want to be sure of is that you always keep your rod tip at the front of the boat until this fish is completely worn out. Again, if you have leverage off to the side, that's how you flip. A shark's never gonna flip you front over end. So keep your rod tip to the front. If it runs to the side, keep your rod tip to the front. It'll pull your whole boat around. Oh no. Ah, almost got hung up in my camera mount. Ah. Uh, he ain't done. You can loosen your drag for safety, but then thumb it so you can still have some control of the fish. Or if he makes a really strong run, you just let off your thumb and he just takes line out. All right, I'm gonna see if I can't muscle him in for a closer look. I keep saying he's tired and I think he's taking it as a challenge. There he is. Uh, I cannot believe this fish is still making runs. It's about a six foot black tip, maybe six and a half. Nice fish. That's what we're out here for. That's a nice six, six and a half foot black tip. Yeah. Oh my gosh, he's heavy. let this guy go and then I gotta go find my anchor. It's about a mile that way. Come on man, I'm trying to help you out. There he goes. Oh man, that was a battle. Uh, that was about a six and a half foot black tip, but it did not want to give up. Man, I'm exhausted, but that was awesome. Oh, what a rush. Especially out here in Florida, you never know what species of shark you have on until you see it. Um, you know, I'm kind of bummed that it was a black tip, which is something I can catch in Texas, but hey, I got a nice shark on the board, so I have to put out another bait and see if I can't get something different. I like Florida. You know, there's really something kind of eerie about being out in the ocean in a kayak. There's stuff jumping all around you, splashing the top. You never know what it is. Could be dolphins, turtles, fish, sharks. And when you're sitting about four inches off the water, Kind of makes you think a little bit. I always find my, my head's on a swivel, but I'll tell you what, it is exciting and it is unlike any other kind of fishing I've ever done. Just knowing that there are fish out here bigger than my boat, it's, uh, it's a weird feeling, but uh, it's a rush. I enjoy it. The important thing though is to always have safety in mind, number one. I was a little too ballsy my first few times out and I learned the hard way how quickly things can go wrong. But with the right precaution, the right knowledge, it really is safe and it is a ton of fun. Let's see if we can't get another shark. Alright, I found my anchor over here. Alright. These 
uh, conditions are not looking great. The sky is really dark over there. I just can't tell which way it's headed. I'm going to put out another bait, but uh, if that comes any closer, I might have to call it. See if we can't get one more today. Fish on, maybe. Yep, fish on. It's not very big, it's not going anywhere. See, I can use the anchor trolley to switch my position, so now I'm facing this way where the shark's trying to go. It's taking off a little bit of line, but not much. It can't be very big. Normally the balloon pops, but the balloon hasn't popped yet, so I keep seeing it pop back up on the surface. It feels a little bigger than it did at first. I'm kind of just letting them run right now. Because especially with the smaller sharks, if you get them up to the boat and they're still lively, they're liable to jump up in your boat. I had a small black tip almost come into my lap down in Texas last time I was fishing for sharks, so... Little shark, little black tip! Oh! Oh my god! He almost jumped in the boat, man. I'm kind of letting him run slowly. He has to pull against the boat, against the drag. And uh, let him kind of wear himself out before I start working him back in. He may be bigger than I think. Maybe he just didn't know he was hooked at first. He's he's fighting now. Yeah, maybe. Come on. He's running sideways, so it's giving me a chance to gain some line back. There he is. I can kind of track his movement because he's got that balloon. Man, that wind's really picked up. Still haven't seen him. Let's bring him up, see if I can see him. Oh man, it's pretty nice size. It's a lot bigger than I realized. That's a pretty good size shark. I think that's a lemon. I'm pretty sure I've never seen a lemon in real life, but it's what it looks like. Uh, oh man, he's heavy. He does not want to come up. And of course he's towing me straight out to sea. I'm gonna turn the cameras off to save battery life for a minute until I gain some more ground on him. This guy is not giving up. I just shut off the cameras for about 30 minutes. I haven't really gained any ground. I haven't really lost any ground. He's just been slowly towing me. And every time I try to pull him up, he just runs right back down. It feels like I'm gonna pop my line if I try to pull him up. This is a strong fish. All right, I'm gonna turn the cameras back off, save some battery life. Going on close to an hour now. 
basically just hanging on. Uh, come on. I just want to say hi and get that hook out of you, bud. This is a new species for me. I really want to land it. I just can't tell which way this storm system's heading. It looks pretty gnarly over there, despite how great it looks behind me. At this rate, I might be here till dark. Let's see if I can get a little ground on. I get two feet and I give two feet right back. Ah. 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 Oh, I don't want to break this line after all this. Oh, good lord. Alright, I'm going to turn the cameras back off, save some battery life until I get them a little closer. Alright, so, uh, uh, probably at about an hour and a half now fighting this shark. And um, I just cannot get this guy up. I am putting constant pressure on him. Both my hands are cramping. I'm having to switch off. Should have brought a protein bar or something. I'm eating all day. I'm gonna try to get him back up, see if we can get a good look at him. Making a little progress. And there goes the progress I just made. You know, typically other species of sharks will kind of make these long runs. You know, they freak out when the hook gets in them and so they just take off. And that expends a ton of energy. This guy didn't do that. He's just been steadily pulling me around for an hour and a half. He's not even using that much energy, but I am. Ah. 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 All right, I'm gonna turn the cameras off. Keep fighting them. Getting close to two hours now. Gotta get this guy up. See if we can see him again. Oh yeah. Nice fish. Nice fish. Uh. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That is a fat nurse shark. Oh. No. No. Ah. 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 She's tired. She's not pulling out drag anymore, but she's still just heavy. Oh no. Uh.
Okay. I gotta let this girl go. I gotta get back home before it gets dark. that back down she goes I cannot believe the strength of this fish this is just insane I'm excited, I got my first nurse shark, it's a new species. There is nothing I love more than catching a new species. But I'll be honest, two hours later, I'm exhausted. I think it's time to let this girl go. Two hours is a little bit more time than I want to spend with any fish. I came to Florida to catch some new species and I just got my first nurse shark. And at around eight feet long and really thick, it was a little more than I bargained for. That was a tough fighting fish and two hours later I am exhausted. Towed me about a mile and a half out, and in the meantime, the swells got bigger, the wind picked up. It's pretty nasty out here right now. So, I think I'm gonna head in and have a beer. Florida Gulf Coast, this place is wild. Woo!